Hi, I'm Joel Parry Jones of PKA Acoustic Consulting. I'm an acoustic consultant who works with architects and builders to help design the acoustic comfort within residential homes. Internal acoustics is often overlooked in the design of a new home. Uh, the building code doesn't provide any sound insulation requirements and typically um, an architect may not consider acoustics in the design stage. There are two main aspects of internal acoustics. Transmission, sound that passes through, such as a wall, and reverberation, which is sound that reflects in a space or echoes in a space. In terms of sound transmission, homes these days have very loud noise sources such as large television sets, gaming consoles, home theatres, but there's also other typical noise sources such as laundries, bathrooms and entertaining areas to consider. Sound readily transfers through internal walls that are typically hollow with thin plasterboard on timber studs. The easiest and most cost effective solution is to fill that empty cavity with high density acoustic insulation. Improved acoustics can be gained by acoustic rated plasterboard, discontinuous stud work, upgrade of doors, which all require specialist advice. Acoustic insulation can also be placed in the mid-floor to minimise noise disturbances in the bedrooms from loud noise sources such as entertaining areas and the like. Homeowners typically focus on aesthetics and floor plan, but more and more research is showing how important acoustic comfort is to the health and well-being of home occupants. Installing acoustic insulation in the home is only really possible during construction, so it's important to talk with your builder and designer early on in the process to maximise acoustic comfort. Thank you.